What's your problem? Audio glitch. I can't patch Eli's mic and okay, sounds... just, just, just fix it. What do you think I'm trying to do here? My father is standing on stage in front of thousands of Eli's fans, unable to make a sound. Two minutes from now, everybody's going to know that this whole thing is a ruse. I know you're all super anxious to see the fabulous Eli love, but uh, you'll have to wait a tad longer because we're not through with him yet. <laughs> You still on track? Uh, yeah, according to the Jackal GPS information, our target is heading north on Lumber Mill Road. Heading for the Canadian border. Um, okay, the car is registered to one Arnold Zank, who uh, bears a resemblance, a admittedly a strong resemblance, to the taller of the two men we saw in the bank video footage. But uh, and yes, he may have been part of the threat perpetrated on stalwart Elizabeth. This phone call. We don't. We don't have a positive ID. We can't be for absolute sure that this we, is the guy. We will be once. I catch up to them and make them talk about what they did and who hired them. Any way you're mistaken? None. I'll let you know the minute Sakara's attorney leaves Miss Howard's room. Bad news? Oh, you're still here? I'm mm. sorry. I didn't know. Um, are we done? Or are we... No, I just thought that maybe you'd like to know I was thinking of reconsidering Miss Howard's counteroffer. Do what you want, right? You know, indulge my curiosity here, Sonny. How does it feel to know that the woman that you're so desperately trying to protect came to me with a deal to try to avoid having criminal charges brought against her by offering to tell the world that you are, what, mentally incompetent? I don't know. That's such a PC way of saying whack show. I mean, that kind of bombshell from the famous lips of such a revered public figure could only work in my favor. you got bigger problems to deal with, right? than this scheme to get back at me. Oh, well, that's cryptic. Care to elaborate? Anthony Zakara, does that ring a bell to you? The New York City mob boss, yeah. Why? He's about to, or is in the process of making a move on Port Charles. <laughs> that's good. That's good. You think I'm joking? No, I, you know what? I think you're trying to deflect, but it's not going to do any good. Because see, my full focus and attention is on you, big brother. And it's not going away until you're just a bad memory. Then you're a bigger ass than I thought. What happened to your face? I'm fine. You didn't look like that before. What happened? No, it's fine. I'm okay. Believe him. Your husband is very resilient. I've learned that from spending so much concentrated time with him. It's been a pleasure, literally. I don't care if it takes my last breath. You will pay for hurting him. Mm. Jax was naughty. He had to be punished. But it wasn't all bad. The sex, for example. That was very good indeed. Better with each successive experience. Right, Jax?